So, um, who amongst you plays video games? Liars, I expect way more hands to, uh, all a bunch of liars. So, uh, I have a Mac, right? And the Mac is all right, uh, Unix kind of system and all that. The thing that's not so great about a Mac is you have to, you know, remind yourself that most of the games can be played on Windows. Um, what's actually kind of cool nowadays, though, is you have these uh, VMs that you can spin up. And these VMs, you know, typically use them for deep learning because there's a good GPU in it. But you can also use a GPU to play video games. So there's this very cool service called Paperspace. And the idea with Paperspace is they literally stream the output of the uh, video output to your screen as if it's like a Netflix thing. The internet is fast enough that you can actually do this. And my cur I currently am over the Wi-Fi over here, and I, and I cannot send the right UDP packets, so it's a little bit slower. But I found that it's actually fast enough that I can do, you know, headshots and Andromeda, and I can actually play video games over Wi-Fi when I'm home on my couch. And lately, I've been playing this video game that I personally think is actually kind of cool. It's called Divinity Original Sin 2. And I'm kind of a nerdy nerd, and you start playing a video game, and you can wonder, can I use maybe Python to make me better at playing this video game? So, uh, I don't work for these people, by the way, but it's a super cool service. Uh, if you want to play video games and you own a Linux computer, or if you have an Android device, or if you've got a, um, a Mac, uh, that Google Parsec, Google Paperspace, and you can play video games for 40 euro cents uh, an hour. That's actually kind of a good deal. So, okay, I can play the video game, but now I have to play the video game in a good way. Um, so what I'll pr be doing now is I'll be reciting my findings, and you can find all of the findings on my blog called Koning. And the idea with the video game is you kind of can make a character like this. This The char name of the character is called the Red Prince. I prefer to call him Big Red. And the idea of this character, just like most role-playing games, is, you know, you get this attribute sheet, and you can say, hey, I'm going to put more points in strength, and then the guy gets more buff. You can put more points in intelligence, and the person gets more smart. And the Depending on how you want to make your character, um, you put points in different types of things. And in this case, I just wanted this to be like a super buff, huge Tyrannosaurus. So the idea is uh, I want him to do a lot of physical damage. Um, so probably strength is good, because more strength means more uh, uh, points of damage per attack. And wits is kind of good, because wits uh, does more critical damage. So if you roll a dice, critical damage, damage times two. Uh, the mechanics of the game work a bit differently than this, but this is sort of the premise. So that's great, okay. Um, I haven't talked about Python yet, but what you can do is you can sort of look online, and you can sort of look at the formulas that you need to calculate this, and then you get to this conclusion like, hey, I need to do calculus again. You have, to do the, you have to actually do the math, right? So you have to say, hey, what's my expected damage depending on how many points I put in strength and how many points I put in wits. You have to do all this math. Um, and the whole thing with modeling, the beginning is fun when you're making the model, and the end bit is fun because you actually get to make the conclusion. But it's all the math in the middle that's kind of the boring stuff. And there's this great book about, written about Python called Automate the Boring Stuff. So let's see if we can automate the boring math with Python. Turns out you can totally do this with a library called SymPy. What SymPy does, uh, S-Y-M-P-Y, -Y, uh, is basically it allows you to do the math so you don't have to. Am I, so you can, I think it's big enough that you guys can actually read it. So here's the, the sort of uh, the code that I've written for it. I set, let's say I've got a total number of points that's equal to 100. Um, I the sum, basically, I can put it in strength or I can put it in wits. So S is T minus W. Um, this is, uh, what was this again? So this is the probability that the critical hit will occur, which is wits divided by 100. Uh, again, assume that this is true, this is from the video game. And then the damage that I will deal, well, that depends on my score for strength. Um, and then the expected damage that I will deal that will keep in mind of the probability for a critical hit. Well, you can make all these formulas and you can get this formula written just like this. What you can then do is you can evaluate E. You can actually see what comes out. And what the interpreter will then give you is a formula with all the parameters that you haven't defined yet, all the maths. And you might say, okay, this is all kind of nice, but I don't like looking at this. If you actually run this in the IPython notebook and you tell SymPy to do normal printing, it will actually give you the LaTeX. What you can then do is you can say, hey, this expression is all very well and nice, but please simplify it. Do the math, like clean it up a bit. And it will just go ahead and do that. What you can even then do is you can say, yo, differentiate yourself, please, with regards to W, and it will differentiate on your behalf. Remember, this was super boring back in college. Now you can sort of just automate this. 
What's even better is you can say, look, even if, if I've differentiated this expression, um, if you want to take a maximum of it, typically what you do, you differentiate, set it equal to zero. Uh, so you can say, hey, here's an expression that I have. I want you to solve it by changing this parameter, and I want it to be equal to zero. Boom. Ah, that's great. I, I, I kind of can focus more on the modeling and stuff. I don't have to worry so much about the maths, because, you know, Python will automate that for me. So you can do a second iteration on this. Um, because before I did an iteration where I said, you know, the top 100, uh, I only have 100 points, let's say that's now a free parameter, so I want to optimize for S and W, so independent of the total number of points, I know what the optimal location is. So you can differentiate for W, you can differentiate for S, and you can combine everything, such that you get the expression, if I have an optimum, what is uh, the solution? And then it will clearly say, the solution itself is an equation. Also, SymPy is automating this for me. So I have a solution, I can tell you what the best score is, all the math is great, but typically humans don't always like looking at this. So even though this is a very nice exercise, what I would typically still advise you guys to do is to make a very pretty plot where you can do something like, hey, let's say this is, um, uh, this is the number of points I put into wits according to the formula I calculated before. You know, and then put this in a report and it all looks pretty. Um, please read the blog post if you're actually interested in this, because um, there's actually a whole lot more that SymPy will do for you. I've talked about simple stuff here, but what you can also have happen is it can do integration for you. So anything with a log, anything that's kind of naughty, it'll integrate stuff for you as well, and you get the formula out. There's even some very cool probability theory stuff, where you can say, hey, this is a probability distribution, that's a probability distribution. If you add, uh, combine them in some sort of way, uh, let's say you now know something, so you can actually do things like, uh, give me the probability that y plus z is less than 3, given that z is less than 2. It will just do all these calculations for you. So this is sort of getting beyond the realm of curious fun and actually touching on the realm of actually slightly useful. Um, if you have a proof and you don't understand it, you can chug it in here and maybe it will do it for you. And there's even lemma checking, so if you want to say, hey, this is the variance and these are all symbols, uh, please do the math for me such that I know what the formula for the math is for this expression. Uh, you can even do derivative rules, so you can declare something to be a symbol or a function. And then you can say, hey, what's, uh, the, if I differentiate f times g, what do I get out? It does the math for you. You can even have the language be output so you get code out, um, and the pretty late tech stuff that I showed you. Another feature that I really, really like is the committers of this uh, package have recently put something up. Um, so if you're, if you're in SymPy and you say, from SymPy import this, you will get something called the Zen of SymPy. Um, it's all about the joy. Unevaluated is better than evaluated. The user interface matters. Printing matters and pure Python can be fast enough. If it's too slow, it's probably your fault. Documentation matters. Correctness is more important than speed. Push it in now and improve upon it later. Coverage by testing matters. Smart tests are better than random tests, but random tests sometimes find what smartest test is missed. The Python way is probably right, uh, the right way. Community is more important than code. Now, in, in this stage of my five minute talk, I, I gather that you guys think, okay, this is sort of the peak moment. This is when Finzen says that the Python community is nice and great. But I'm going a step further uh, because, you know, this is my blog, so I want people to see this. So what you then do is you post this on Reddit. Now, you can post this in two different channels, which I did. I posted this in the uh, Divine Divinity, like the video game fan club Reddit, and I posted this in the Python channel. Uh, this happened like a week ago. Uh, I will quote you uh, a comment from the gamers. Uh, spotted the noob. <laughs> I rate this article 0 out of 10. It needs peer reviewing and an extensive editing due to grammar. Um, it's just like, uh, um, to, to sort of uh, explain to you how Reddit works, this was the response within two minutes. <laughs> the Python response was, fantastic write-up, man. I had no clue SimPy would be this dope. Uh, let's not change Python. Thanks. Oh. <laughs>